Hi guys, it's Deborah. Welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to share another update on what's going on with me. I'm going to share an update about what's happening with my teeth. I'm going to share an update about what intermittent fasting protocol I'm using and just a couple of other things also about my diet. So if you're interested in hearing more about that, let's go. So yeah, just before I get started on my update, I want to just wish everybody happy holidays. We're just past Christmas, so I'm hoping everybody's having a restful week and preparing for the new year in whatever way that looks for you. I want to say thank you to all my subscribers and my new subscribers. So thank you for following me along. If you like this video, hit like. And if you want to see more from me, hit subscribe. I've got a ton more coming. And I'm going to keep updating my situation with my teeth and where that's going to go. And then my intermittent fasting protocol. And also the diet that I'm going to be following. And I'm going to share all that coming up right now. All right. So first, for my teeth update. And just another warning, if you are squeamish about teeth or mouth stuff, this is your opportunity to be informed, so this is it. All right, so I'm going to um, pick up from where I left off in my last video. I had uh, gone to see the denturist and had made an appointment to go to the dentist to have my teeth extracted. Um, and then the plan was that... Once that happened, I was going to do alternate day fasting, da, da, da. If you're interested in where I was at in that moment, that was my last video. If you look at my last video, just to kind of go off topic for a sec, my, this side of my face, it still is pretty swollen. You can see, sorry, I look over here because I, this is the way my phone is. But yeah, so this side of my face is, is still pretty swollen. But in my last video, I didn't even really realize that. And that is going. So I went to the dentist and, you know, basically just said, I've been to the dentist. I have all this stuff going on with my teeth. I'd like my teeth extracted. <clears throat> and, you know, the last time I went to a dentist was two years ago. And at that time, I made the decision to try to kind of hold off. And he did some work to kind of, you know, sort of like Band-Aid type damage control stuff. So I really did, uh, I, I, I didn't know like how to approach this. So I went to the dentist and said, here's the situation. I want my teeth extracted. I'm going to be getting dentures. And the dentist I saw was, you know, really, really wanted to advocate for keeping my teeth. <laughs> I was like, so we were engaged in this kind of a dialogue around that, which was very frustrating for me. Anyway, long story short, so he did the pan x-ray, which is like, the, you know, they take a whole x-ray of your entire uh, upper and lower teeth. And that x-ray, I'll just share what that revealed. So I have extensive gum disease. I didn't need an x-ray to know that. It's really, it's a genetic gum disease where the gum recedes like to the point where <clears throat> there, it's, it's, you know, the tooth is exposed. And so that exists. And with all that extensive gum disease, there almost every single, yeah, every single tooth has exposed root. So I don't know if you've ever had like that, you know, when you drink, like it's incredibly painful, but it's every single tooth and it's really receded quite extensively. And, you know, it's not like I'm in like that shrill pain when you feel a lick, like hot or cold hit your teeth. It's not even that anymore. It's just this deep ache. All right. So there's that. And then several teeth, three or four, I believe the gum has receded right down to the bone. So there's a, there's exposed bone. You know, it's pretty, it's pretty intense. Um, I had two, two abscessed teeth. So these two back teeth were abscessed, which is 
uh, a lot to do with this swelling. This one was worse. It felt like this one was worse, but there's more going on up here. So, so I had two abscess and then, yeah, so there's infection brewing up here along these, um, sinuses or cavities or forget what he called that. So there's infection brewing up there and several teeth are really, <clears throat> I won't show you, they're really loose. And, you know, I forget the classification that he used, but then these, there's three along this lower jaw, <clears throat> which have like some compression fractures. So they're very fragile. And one of them is so loose. Yeah, so that was what the x-ray showed. So I'm like, take them out. <laughs> I want these teeth out. I can't take it anymore. Right. And then the dialogue began with the dentist. He... You know, there was this back and forth. I was like, I want my teeth out. Like, I'm in agony. It hurts. And I'm sick. <laughs> you know, I didn't really realize at the time the extent of the <clears throat> infection. But, you know, the information was coming at me so fast and furious that <clears throat> it was just really challenging for me. So we went through the scenario. A, for him to pull all my teeth was going to cost about $5,000, which I was just like, oh my God. Um, and then, and then the, you know, time to pull every tooth and then the sedation. So we went through all of that and I, you know, I was very frustrated. So at the very least, he said, we have to pull these infected teeth. But I wanted to go home and I was just like, I was just, I was really upset by the whole thing. So I went home and then this part of my face uh, started the next morning. I, I was running a small fever and, th and this was just swelling. So um, we were, I don't even remember that day. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, I called my doctor. Right. So the doctor gave me a prescription for the infection, which was a course, a 10 day course of antibiotics, like big, huge horse pills. So I was like, okay. So then I decided that I was just going to start the antibiotic and go back to the dentist and get the two infected teeth pulled at the very least. And so that's what I did. I went back, <clears throat> I had started the antibiotic, went back and he, Again, him and I got into this whole thing. I, I should have just known this is not a good doctor patient relationship, but I was stuck. I was in this situation. There's not a lot of resources around me. So anyway, he pulls these two teeth and then he starts to, I said, well, I, you know, I, I need these teeth pulled. So he said, the best thing I can do is <clears throat> refer you to an oral surgeon. He's like, you know, Deborah, I can start pulling all the teeth, but it's going to be in small little chunks of time. I can pull three or four here, three or four there, six here. I was like, oh my God, I cannot <laughs> go through that process. Like, and it just seemed, anyway, I'm letting it, I'm, tr I'm trying so hard. To just be like, okay, that was the situation. It's not going to work for me. And we're going to move on. Anyway. Right. So the dentist pulls these two infected teeth. And that was about four days ago, five days ago. It was actually not that difficult. You know, the initial <clears throat> injections from the freezing were going into an infected tooth. <laughs> it wasn't pleasant, but... I just, I didn't even care. I used all my mental capacity to just deal with it. So that was good. Teeth are out, the two infected ones. Um, and I just assumed that the antibiotic would help with the swelling on this side, but it hasn't been. And actually it's, I feel it up in my eye and I'm feeling some pain here. But anyways, that's today. So um, the dentist and I agreed that he would put a referral into an oral surgeon because I don't want my teeth extracted piecemeal fashion. I, I have to live. I have things that I have to do. I'm, I don't want teeth coming out. 
incrementally. So anyway, going to the oral surgeon. So he said, but the oral surgeon, you know, it's they're closed for Christmas and they're not back until the new year. And on top of that, because he's a specialist, he's in a town further away and they only come to the town that I live in or near. You know, so I was like, oh my God, this is just going to go on and on. <clears throat> so I was really frustrated. And, um, but now where I'm at with it all is like, okay, here's the situation. At least I know what I'm dealing with. And, and there's so many layers to this whole thing that, um, and part of my philosophy of in life is just, you know, you have to flow with life. We can't control external circumstances, right? And, <clears throat> and it, oh, the only thing we can control is our reaction and our perception and our, and our, how we can choose how we want to see a situation. And <clears throat> so after all of that, I decided that's what I'm going to do. A, I'm just going to relax into it. I'm going to do, you know, as I get little bits of inspiration, I act on it and, but I totally trust the universe. I trust the process and I trust, you know, and all these other things are going on in the background that are totally supporting and facilitating this process for me. So I just have to relax, um, and just let the healing happen though. I don't, <laughs> um, I am concerned. So probably I'll be going back to the doctor because I take my last antibiotic today. And I don't feel like the infection has been dealt with. Anyway, after I figured out all the, the dentist and oral surgeon and dentist um, situation, I made the decision to not start my alternate day fasting journey again. It just it was not the right time. First of all, I had to take these humongous um, antibiotics twice a day and they're huge and you can't take them on an empty stomach. So I was like, okay, that's not going to happen right now. And just, you know, I had to just, just relax with that. I was like, Oh, I just announced that I was going to go back on alternate day fasting, but you know, it is what it is. If somebody just doesn't like that, then they don't like that. And that's fine. I'm okay. This is my journey and this is where I'm at. So I'm just going to share it from this perspective. What I decided to do is, um, and we're like two or three, this was like two or three days out from Christmas, right? I'm like, ah, um, so what I decided to do is stick to the 20 hour, four hour intermittent fasting protocol, which I really have enjoyed, but even that got a little bit messed up and timing. And then we had Christmas and and visiting and different things. So starting today, I am back on the 20, there was about three days, I guess, maybe where I wasn't doing an intermittent fasting at all. Um, but I did for the most part, stick to that 20 hour fast, four hour eating window. I really, really love it. And I'll share some of why I really love it coming up. So, um, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, and I'll just kind of wrap this up and just share specifically the protocol, why, and the food that I'm going to incorporate as we go forward. So while I was putting all these pieces together, I got out my success declaration and I knew I had to come up with a solid what, why, how. So I have been actually going through that. Um, you know, it kind of comes in little pockets of inspiration for me. So I'm just creating that. But so for the most part, my what is I'm going to do the 20 hour fast, four hour eating window protocol every day. And with that, and I'm probably going to make another video at some point about my experience with doing 24, but I've clearly not been in a, I have not been losing weight. So in order for 20, that protocol to work, there has to be a calorie deficit. And that's just my belief system. And so 
obviously I'm going to live by my belief system. So I need to create for myself a calorie deficit. And I've been doing that um, basically because I'm choosing to do this intermittent fasting protocol and exercise and create a calorie deficit. So um, I've figured out what my calorie ca uh, count will be each day based on if I go to the gym or not. So I've done that. Um, and then also because January is carnivore month, I was like, oh, I did carnivore and I really liked it. And plus, because I need to heal my gut, this other course of antibiotics has just uh, like, antibiotics are so hard on our system. Those tons of stuff. And I would imagine that throughout the rest of this process is going to be more medication. I am also doing some natural stuff to help my, help my mouth. But anyway, so I need a gut healing, like hardcore. So I'm doing, uh, I'm not going to do cardivore. I'm going to do ketovore, especially because right now I can't really put, I can't chew chew like I can, but it's pretty painful. So what I'm going to do is, um, a keto vor soft. So that's what I'm doing guys. I'm doing a 20 hour fast, four hour eating window, intermittent fasting protocol. I'm on January 1st, starting the keto vor slash carnivore month challenge. So I'm dialed into that for a minimum of 30 days, though I suspect it'll probably go longer. I have um, created a list of foods that I can eat at each stage of this dental journey that I'm on. I'm going to be incorporating, um, for sure, I'll just I'll list off some of the foods that I know I'll be consuming for sure, which is bone broth. And with bone broth, um, I get, I'm really creative with bone broth. So I make like bone broth lattes. I make like a bone broth, bone broth, creamy type of soup. And then I can make other soups that are, um, you know, keto friendly. And also I'm not saying that I'm doing keto. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm not saying I'm keto, <laughs> but anyways, it's, it's going to be along those lines. Um, I'm just going to be taking I have a really good, and I'll pr probably do a video to share these different products, but a whey protein with tons of gut healing, friendly probiotic stuff. I've got my collagen powder. Um, using this lactose free, high protein milk, uh, probiotic yogurt. I'm going to incorporate some berries and strawberries, some lactose free cheese. I have, um, and butter and lots of eggs. And what I did was I bought myself for Christmas, I bought myself a Ninja Creamy. <laughs> so I'm going to be enjoying, I'm probably gonna make like some Keto Vor ice cream. It's pretty easy. I've been playing with some recipes to get like the ratio for that creaminess. And I've also ordered some allulose. Oh, and I'm also going to be taking some glycine, which is, um, it's an amino acid, but it has a sweetness to it. And it's so incredibly powerful for healing your gut. I also take, uh, glutamine, which is helping. So really I'm just going full hardcore into this new protocol and I'm excited about it. I've also quit vaping and this is going to be quitting sugar. Um, this starting on January 1st, I am so excited about this. And plus with the 20 hour fast, four hour eating window in that eating window, I can eat till satisfaction. Like my ice cream that I'm creating, I'm playing with some different things, but it's each little Hagen dazs style container that the Ninja maker, uh, makes is, is about between six and 800 calories. But in there, I'm making it high protein with good fats, like really healthy fats. So, you know, and then that leaves me another um, 800 or so calories to really enjoy my meals. And for me, ice cream is like, 
is life for me. It's like, it's one of the things actually depriving myself of ice cream has been sometimes the thing that will take me off. It has definitely taken me out of keto in the past or carnivore because so anyway, I've got this all dialed in. So, so I'm going to close this out by saying I'm going to do an update for sure. I'm going to do an update on my starting date because I'm going to start tracking all my stuff that I was tracking before. I haven't gotten on the scale yet, but I'm going to do that. So tracking my weight, my body fat, my muscle mass, my waist circumference. Um, I'm not going to share too much about my calories and my macros and different things just because uh, it's so individual and it's just, you know, so I won't be sharing that part, but definitely my weight and recipes and different things that I'm creating around this and probably most likely do at the very mi at the very minimum weekly updates so that's it guys thank you for watching make sure you hit like and subscribe and i will see you in my next video take care you got me loose. my heart was troubled